hello welcome to another video of this sv the sign youtube channel and um yeah last video i basically left you guys here with this uh the completed body panel for the car and now i wanted to take you through the process of actually making the ventilation channels in the top of this fender flare so um yeah it's pretty easy to do so the first thing that i will do is to go to the separate part and from the top view which is this one right here basically um also search for displaying and click on extrude boss base so what you can do then is just select this face click on convert entities and i want to really follow the lines of the the, yeah, the lines that are already there so i will just offset the entities inward so reverse the offset and let's say um about 40 mil something like that and I will probably, as you can see, this is about the mid, the highest point of the fender right here. So I'll probably just start it before that point and um, maybe put some, put it, yeah, something like that. Put a little bit of a shape like that into it and also do the same on here, but then probably just use the same uh, direction as this line. So something, something like that. You're completely free to do whatever you want to, of course. This is just what I will do as an example. So uh, yeah, feel free to put your own twist on it. So the next step is to go to extrude cut and just go to that face. And but first you have to offset it to make it like float above it. So I just put one meter above it. And then the next one is to go to offset from surface. So this one allows you to kind of go up to that surface and let it float a couple of mini millimeters in towards the surface. And we already know that this panel is two millimeters wide if you check the next video so I'm gonna just make it go in for one millimeter and we'll end up with something that looks like this and then we again go to that um, that top line in this case and go to extrude cut click on this uh, face again and click on offset entities and also reverse it but now let's say 10 millimeters and now we can go to cut through that we make it penetrate all the way and the reason why I want to have this layer in there is because I also want to make um, maybe different panels and everything. So you can have one that is just, we can just leave it like fully exposed. And we can also um, make some with multiple slots, some with just a couple of slots and also have one that's just fully closed for multiple settings for if you are on different types of racetracks or if you just want to drive in on the, drive in on the road and all of, that, all of those situations. So. I want to make um, yeah just multiple slots that I can fit in here so the next step is to take the fillet tool and to kind of round off all of these and I just select the face instead of the line that I wanted so that won't work so to select this line and check if you can automatically select all the lines you want to so for this outer surface for this outer square it did and then also for the inner square so these are all the lines you want to now let's make it a little bit more than 10 millimeters something like that 20 and now it kind of looks better and the next thing that i will do is again go to the top plane extrude cut take this convert entities and also do that for the inner line so you can do that by selecting inner line loop by one by one and it will just select this whole inner line so so that, that way you can have this shape right here and why I wanted to do that is because I want in the middle of these squares I want to be able to you need to put be able to put bolts there to uh, bolt it down and everything so that is the next step and then on the center of these lines we can put like uh, let's put five millimeters ho holes in there or actually there are 10 millimeters so I can actually make them 2.5 in radius and then we can um, yeah just drill those through and if, if you want you could also delete the rest of the sketches just because you don't really need it but sometimes I'd like to keep those in there because the relationship stays the same if you want to change certain things so that might work to your benefit later on in the design process to kind of keep the base sketch and everything so um yeah you can just select through all on both sections and everything and then it will penetrate all the way through and now you can see that we have this shape right here and we might need to if you're actually going to build the car you probably need to thicken this whole panel because one millimeter of carbon fiber won't really be enough to hold this thing in place and everything but um yeah 
and now that I'm looking at it I kind of debating myself if I wanted to be more in front because I also want to be able to see it actually from if you're looking at it like that so yeah I need to do that my bad um, and it's also very close to this area exit that is already here so I would definitely do that so go to this phase again and that is the easy part of doing these things is that you could basically just drag this line up to this point and put a little bit more to the back and this one like here something like that and sometimes if you're lucky you just will change everything with it and we were lucky and that is why I kind of kept the, the the lines and all the templates and everything so now the holes really move along with it and that just worked out perfectly and now you can kind of see it from the front as well and all of that so that is part one of the video second thing that you will need to do or that you can do you don't need to do anything is um and now actually i'm debating myself if i wanted this line to go the other way if i wanted from this to go to there instead of the other way around yup because this doesn't really work with this line right here so i need to change again my bad and uh again let's hope that everything works out smoothly and the way you want it to that works out better so now it kind of works with this line that's in the body already so now we can go back to the car itself and now you can see this gaping hole through there and for racing applications i would just put nothing there i won't really uh, even bother to put a panel in there because you could have like um, yeah you won't really have if you look at modern Le Mans cars they also kind of have it over the fenders and in their case it's to prevent the car from uh, rolling uh, over and everything on Le Mans on those long straights because this doesn't really allow you to form a high pressure zone underneath this fender that could possibly lift the car up so that is basically why they are doing that and but for for street applications i also want it to be able to look smooth and just probably don't even notice that there is a hole in there so then you could put a new part in there and you could just start that new part on like the top lane or whatever you want it to be and then that sketch is just this uh, yeah the convert entities of that line and then you can see that you have the perfect sketch for that and then you can just drag it up to this surface step one completed and then step two is to delete the remaining section that you don't need so you select this phase again can uh, just cut extrude convert entities and extrude cut and then you select this for surface but then you select not up the surface but offset from surface and you select one millimeter i need to still put it in metric dimensions instead of inches and yeah that is basically perfect and then we can also alter the um to put it in metric so now we don't have those problems anymore and again Oh, something didn't really fully work out. Um, the way to fix that is basically to go through that thing, that cut, that line, and instead of selecting convert entities, you just do offset entities, and it will make everything a little bit bigger and it will work out the same way. But it will delete everything. So now that that is solved, we can. Um, we also need to still put the holes in here so uh, the next thing I do is to basically again go through um, this front line just click on sketch click on convert entities and just select the circles for the holes and everything so okay so in a race situation will basically just be if you wanted to take it with you or not take it with you on a racetrack so it will probably be just on or off so this is what you could use for that and those are the two options that we already have right now but i also want to make a third version of this and um to make some louver louvered fins that if you want to also just give it a cool look and add some downforce for road purposes or anything so um 
yeah that is the third thing that we will do so that, uh, just open this part again and uh, save another version of it and just save as copy and open and this copy will be called um, just fender fence instead of default fender fence so and you can see that you're now in that part so that part doesn't really have anything to do with um, the part that is in assembly right now so we can just work on this freely and then what I will do to create the next bit is I will again um, go to the top plane and click on extrude cut select the surface offset entities reverse it by 10 millimeters and just make that cut right there And now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of want to change it up a little bit because I want those lines to be straight so that I can use them as planes to draw on. If you kind of get where I'm going with this, so now I can delete these outer lines and again do what I was going to. So, uh that didn't really work out that well for these circles right here so i need to make that offset a little bit larger so instead of 10 millimeters let's say 15 and let's hope this works out better and it does still not all the way satisfied with that but we'll work that out later on and put a smaller fillet on it or whatever so um yeah why i wanted these straight lines instead of having them curved with uh the outside barrier is because now i can use that as a surface to sketch on so i can just select sketch and um why i want to do this is because i will kind of create a loft between this surface and that surface with the shapes for the fender louvers and everything so um i will need to have a side view okay so i've been struggling to kind of get these louvers right and i will cut everything out that i've done before so you guys won't really hear, hear me swear and use words that i probably shouldn't use but um yeah it was a pretty hard thing to get through but now what i will do is um yeah just do ev all of them individually and uh, i will just see where i end up at so um yeah i will just go through this with some speed art videos and everything so that i will speed everything up so that you guys can kind of follow quickly without me talking too much over it um and therefore i'll see you guys in a couple of seconds All right, so now, um, yeah, probably done. Not really, because now you can see that all of these were probably cut into the tire and everything. So we're not going to get rid of that. So the way to do that is to again select front plane, uh, select extrude cut, select this surface, convert entities, uh, conf extrude cut, and then up to the surface. So you just double click that surface, and boom, done. So now everything is basically on that level and we can also add another thing to it and that is probably do the same thing but then for this surface on the top but i kind of want to leave it raw so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna just leave it the way it is but i'm gonna, um i'm add i will add like a fillet to it so to make it maybe look a little bit sharper
that is basically what I wanted and I'm already smiling because that looks cool I don't really know how that will work with road safety and everything but maybe you're working as solid works we don't need to worry about that right now so um what does this do on a car so you can probably still see if you watch that aerodynamics video that I did that a surface like this will create a suction above it so it will create um, a, a fast moving current because it needs to travel a longer distance than if it would if it was just traveling in a straight line so to take up that that to travel that distance is, it needs to travel extra distance because it's also going over a curve so because it needs to speed up it will create a suction in this area and that suction will kind of suck out all of the high air pressure zones that are underneath this fender because this wheel the air is coming in in this direction this wheel is turning like that so it will really slow the air down in this whole section so there will be a lot of high pressure air in this fender so that high pressure air will in my case also really be able to get out on the rear of the tire so probably you don't really even need this but for even more extra um not really downforce but um let's say less lift on this uh, fender section you can put these uh, slots in there because the high pressure air will be able to come out the um, low air pressure will kind of suck them out and at the same time these slots will also slow the air current down because even though it's traveling faster this it, it's kind of a, a blockade for the, that air current so it will also slow down so you will kind of create less of a, um, a suction so all, all of those things so come into play so um what I think will be a good thing to do now is to make some renderings for Instagram for this because this looks cool and then um, yeah that will be it that will be done so um, thanks for watching please leave a like or subscribe to this video that is how you make air fans on the fenders and that is also what their purpose is so um, yeah Shikil Feldbaum SK Design thanks for watching please leave a like also subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content just like this and I will be seeing you guys in another video very soon I'm Shikil Feldbaum and I'm out.